Among the most ardent supporters of the Yemen campaign was this man. I, uh, I toast you. Oh. <laughs> Jamal Hashoji. It is coffee that roasted lightly with cardamom. Uh, with cardamom. And when you drink coffee in Saudi Arabia, where is the coffee from? Is it from Africa? Uh, originally from Yemen, Al Mukha. I asked him why the rush to war in Yemen was necessary, especially in light of reports of many civilian casualties. If Saudi Arabia waited for Mr. Obama to approve an intervention in Yemen, Yemen would have been gone and lost a long time ago. It will be controlled by the Iranians and the Hossi. So we did not wait for Mr. Obama's approval. And I think that empowers Saudi Arabia. Is Saudi Arabia committing human rights abuses in its bombing campaign? Look, for Saudi Arabia, it is a 1939 moment. So you're comparing Iran to Nazi Germany? Yes. In Saudi Arabia, we are at that moment. We either accept Iran in hegemony, control over Yemen, and over our destiny, or freedom. Let's get more on the Saudi position. I'm joined by Jamal Khashoggi. At the time, Khashoggi was not a big critic of the regime. Jamal Khashoggi, welcome back to the program. He was, for the most part, a pro-government voice. Jamal was a journalist, an analyst, but also a client of the Saudi government. An insider. An in, absolutely an insider. Is Saudi Arabia breaking diplomatically? He's from someone you went to to understand the politics of the country. The irony of things that we are almost in total agreement. All what we need. To understand the relationship with Islamism. Blowing up himself. That is totally absurd in Islam. He had it's always totally worked for one prince or another. Innocent. Was extremely close to Prince Turkil Faisal, for instance. He was spokesman for the embassy in London and then in Washington when I was ambassador in both. Right. Was he ever somebody, uh, did he complain about the kingdom? Jamal always had ideas, uh, and he was very, very open with those ideas. He was boisterous, he had a good sense of humor. Sometimes laughing at himself, sometimes laughing with others, and he was a very professional journalist. Let's get another perspective now from Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. He joins me In those days, Khashoggi was especially enthusiastic about MBS when he talked about the need for reform. And he is seen as a safer by young Saudis and, uh, and by me. The fact that you have a new king and a young advisor in the person of Mohammed bin Salman, that gave hope to Jamal. In 2016, after meeting with MBS, Hashoji made a point of tweeting this. It's the only photograph we've seen of the two of them together. <laughs> 